Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. I'm going to read from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read the Bible verse and then I'm going to read the prayer. And I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause the evil beasts to seize out of the land and they shall well safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. That's from the book of E-Z-E-K-I-E-L, chapter 34 verses 25 and 26. Here's the prayer. When we draw a circle around ourselves to shut him out, God draws a larger circle to take us in. He builds a shelter around us and, and em, envelopes us in safety and love. I'm going to read another article from TMZ. This is an interesting one. Oh, I'm going to read it. So I'm going to get right to it. Hold on. Okay. Kanye West rappers troll with cut ties memes. 50 Cent, Nori, and, and Thug got jokes. I guess Young Thug. Kanye West is back to inspiring his fellow rappers who are trolling him over his empire imploding due to Adidas. Barcelona, TJ Maxx, and others leaving him in the dust. Breaking news, Jada has officially cut ties with Kiss. Everywhere you look on social media, yays the butt of endless jokes and memes. And rappers like 50 Cent, Nori, Jada Kiss, and Young Thug from jail even are jumping on the sarcastic cutting ties trend. Noriega has reportedly cut ties with Nori. Little, du Little Duval even dropped his tiny Munker after Glorilla reversed a joke on him earlier this week. Young Thug. Jeffrey has reportedly cut ties with Young Thug. Little Duval, per Gloria. Holla, I don't know how, okay, I'm going to spell the word. H-A-L-L-E-L-U-J-A-H. Duval has cut ties with Little. Ye also partook in the trend, although it may not be as humorous to him, considering Forbes says his network Plumped from 1.3 billion to 400 million. Ye says he lost even more than that, 2 billion. He responded to 50 Cent's cutting ties post by pleading for him to help build Donda schools in Houston. 50 took him up on the offer but agrees with the majority that he needs time on the sidelines to clear his head. Curtis Jackson has reportedly cut ties with 50 Cent. About the only good news Yeh's had this week is that somehow the parents of his Donda Academy students are rallying to keep the school open after he told the staff he was closing it. One rapper, not amused by Kanye Mims, is Boosie Badass who's currently fuming over Ye's apology to the Jewish community and lack of re regret towards black people for his white, life, white lives matter tirades. 
Apparently, it would take more than a few funny memes to win over Mr. Badass, who's been on Kanye's neck for weeks. Okay, now let's see what Lil Boosie had to say about Kanye. Okay, I'm going to play the video. This nigga going to apologize to the Jewish community. But don't say shit to the black community. You a clown. You should have kept talking about the black community. Probably you wouldn't have heard nothing from probably but boots. You won't fuck with the Jew. Jews gonna have your ass looking like Delonte with on skin row, nigga. You won't you won't apologize to the black people. Die your fucking face, nigga. Okay, that's all he had to say, you know, about Kanye. Excuse the language. But um that's the end of the article. Pretty funny one, a hilarious article. But um, yeah, Kanye West, you know, he's a lost soul. You know, I knew he was lost when he said, in two, I think in 2018, when he had said on uh, TMZ, when he appeared on that show with Van and um, I forgot the main guy's name, the, the main host, I forgot his name, but he, but Kanye was doing an interview with them and then he said, Slavery is a choice or was a choice. I knew right then and there Kanye was lost in the sauce. You know, he he needs professional help like the dude needs intense therapy. He he's on the edge. You know, he hasn't everybody knows he hasn't been the same since his mother died. And then, you know, instead of grieving and taking time to grieve her that loss and get help dealing with that loss. He kept doing music, and then he kept going from, you know, he then went from Amber Holes and went to um, Kim Kardashian, you know, and married her and had four children with her. So it's like his taste. In, he had a beautiful black woman. I forgot her name. I think she was a model, but she was beautiful before he met Amber and Kim. And it's just like when he, when him and her broke up, his taste in women went downhill. He dated down, you know. It, it went down the wrong road, just like he did. But yeah, it's interesting how these some of these rappers coming out to, you know, troll Kanye. And it's like, I think they need to worry more about themselves instead of trolling. You know, let's start, you know, Young Thug, I think, is apparently in jail. I think that instead of you, you know, trying to troll somebody, you need to worry about getting out of jail. That's what you need to do. Leave Kanye alone unless you're going to give him some encouragement. Really, somebody need to be giving you some encouragement and helping you. So, like I said, worry about your time in jail. Worry about getting out of jail instead of trolling and trying to clown somebody else because you got bigger problems to deal with and bigger fish to fry. Okay, Jada Kiss. I like Jada Kiss, so I ain't got nothing to say bad about Jada Kiss. So his was probably the funniest, is the most interesting one. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the restroom right quick. I'll be right back. Be right back. I'm back, you all. I'm back, you all. But yeah, Jada Kiss, you know, I have no problems with Jada Kiss, so I'm not going to diss him. But yeah, Kanye West, he, I feel like his taste in women are very poor, you know. And then he dated this Julia Fox model. I'm like, Snoop Dogg was right about Kanye when he said Kanye need a black woman. He need a um, sister. You know, because she probably could hold him down better than these other women that he didn't been with. These last three women. 
So like I said, but before he try to get with anybody, he needs so he need to take his meds. He need to um go to intense therapy. He really need you know really need some treatment. He needs help. So people, we gotta pray for him because he's lost in the sauce, like I said, and he losing deals with major companies and and things like that. Now that's terrible. That's bad right there. So the downfall of Kanye West, I guess, is either beginning, not only is it beginning, but it's continuing. It's it's a continued loss. It's like he's a star falling all the way down from grace. So somebody come save him before he lose it, possibly lose it all, in, along with the rest of his mind. But yeah, little Duval, it's like he need to go somewhere and sit down. He can't really talk about nobody because he's a problematic person as well. I don't know a whole lot of a whole lot about him, but he shouldn't be making fun of nobody. So he didn't have issues and stuff come up in the media within the last year or two that hasn't been very good about him. So he need to stay out of this fight. You know, he shouldn't be making fun of nobody. So go somewhere and have several seats, little um, Duval. Won't you Duval yourself down somewhere and keep your mouth shut? Because nobody cares about what you have to say. Um, who else do I need to get on? Oh, Nor Nori. Should I say Noriega? You need. Do you have a driver's license? Why is your wife uh, Nori? Nori, I think, or. Neri? Yeah, Neri is her name. Why is she driving you around everywhere you got to go? If you if you don't have a license and you can't drive, then you need to hire you a driver. Pay for you a driver. Your wife shouldn't have to be driving you around everywhere you go. You need to focus on getting your driver's license and driving yourself because you're young enough to drive. You need to be a man and do your own thing and stop depending on your wife, not only to stay at home with y'all's kids, but taking care of you, but driving you around like a taxi driver, like a personal driver. Let that woman do her. Y'all need to hire a nanny and you need to let Neri do her own thing because she wants to be free and she wants to build a career of her own and get out of your shadow. So like I said, let her do that. How about that, Nori? Okay. You don't need to be clowning nobody because you're 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 the butt of people's jokes as well. Cause you won't love you done been from reality show to reality show the last couple of years. You ain't really been doing nothing major in the entertainment industry within the last probably five five years or so. So won't you mind your business too and leave Kanye alone? You know, cause you can't make fun of anybody. And you know, 50 Cent, oh, 50 Cent, you need to try to spend time with your son Marquise. That's what you try need to do. Because that boy said that he willing to um pay you sixty seven hundred dollars just to spend time with you, just to try to bond with you. Instead of trying to get to know your son and trying to be a part of his life, you want to clown him every chance you get. You sit up there and when he graduated from college or high school. Oh uh, no, high school, you was like, I'm glad I don't, or some like, I'm glad I don't have to pay child support for you no more, or I'm glad I don't have to send you no more money, or something like that, he said. I don't know. But other YouTubers have talked about that. You know, and then you did say a long time ago that my son, he gonna be just like me when he grow up. He he has been telling a bit, telling some of his business on the internet just like you do. And it's like, you shouldn't want your son to be like you. You should want your son to be better than you because you wasn't there for him as a child. You neglected him. And then a mother, you didn't even, all that money you didn't gained and you didn't made over the years, you should have paid your son more than 67, a little more than 6,700 a month, probably much more. And you should have gave his mama some money too for taking care of him because you ain't make no effort to take the, be a part of his life and share the responsibilities with her as far as taking care of him goes. And another thing, instead of, why don't you stop trolling people? Why you got to always troll your own people of your race? You know, black people. That's the only people you troll, people of your own race. 
you put down your own race to uplift other races or other people. And it's like, you need to stop doing that because instead of uplifting us, I mean, yeah, you give us, you've given a lot of black people jobs, but I hear you don't even pay them for their work. You, you know, you do like a Diddy, that Diddy don't pay his artists. You, I hear that you don't even pay your actors well for all the TV shows that you didn't executive produced, especially on Stars with all the power shows. You know, I don't know about BMF just yet in, uh, in the show ABC, you know, um, I, I think it was called Life or something like that. I like that show. I think it was on for two seasons, seasons and that's it. But yeah, I, I hear you treat your actors like crap. You talk about the women and, you know, try to compare them. And that's something you need to stop doing. Stop comparing other people. What you need to do is uplift black people. Uplift us, not with a little ch chump change, but um, uplift us. Pay, them what, pay these people what they worth. Pay them for the good job that they do on your shows. Not only that, but when somebody is down and out, uplift them, encourage them, inspire them to do better. Stop tearing them down. Stop trolling them because that's what you're doing. You don't troll nobody else outside the black race. You just, I don't know if you hate your own race or what it is, but I know every time you look, you probably look at yourself in the mirror, you probably see a younger version of yourself that you can't stand. That's why you probably don't like your son because you see him in the mirror instead of yourself. You probably despise yourself more than you do him. Or it could be the other way around. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to say about you. If I think about it, something else, I'll come back to you. And then, you know, little Boosie, I don't agree with a lot of things he said or he normally say. But when it came to Kanye, I do agree that Kanye, you don't need to be apologizing to the, just the Jewish community. You need to apologize to the black community as well, especially for wearing that White Lives Matter shirt. You need to apologize to your own community. That's what you need to be doing instead of um, putting up uplifting another race instead of uh, your own. Oh, and yeah, 50 Cent. Don't you have a beautiful girlfriend? Don't you have a new girlfriend at home? If you do, instead of wasting your time trolling people, you got too much time on your hands doing that with all the shows that you produce and your love life. You need to be spending your time drilling your girlfriend's box. That's what you need to do. You need to be spending some personal quality time with her. When you're not working, you need to be spending time with not only her, but your kids too, all your kids. Bond with all your kids and stop favoring your kids. Stop treating, stop mistreating your kids. Stop treating other kids better than, uh, than each other. Basically, you treat certain kids better than the others and you need to treat all your kids the same. Treat them all the same. Make time for all of them. Not just the younger ones, but all of them. And stop wasting your time and other people's time trolling them because you look foolish. You look stupid. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. But um, yeah, little Boosie, you know, Boosie to me, he looked like he's parched. You know, he needs to drink water. He has black circle under his eyes. And the thing that he said like over a year ago or two years ago when he um, hired or when he put a grown woman on his 12-year-old son and um, nephew at the time in the past to sleep with them or something like that, he should have been charged with, you know, he should have been charged and put behind bars for that. That was wrong. That grown woman didn't have no business being with your child and with your nephew. And you was caring for the both of them? Shame on you, Boosie. Shame on you for that. You should have been behind bars. You should have you should have been locked up and the key should have been thrown away because that's that's not right. The way that that's not cool. Putting a grown woman on your children like that. That's unacceptable. You should be ashamed for that. 
So I'm not going to go no more deeper into that. But yeah, like I said, these rappers that's trolling Kanye, y'all all got flaws in your own lives. Except for, I don't know, but I think Jada Kiss is the best one. I don't think he has a lot of flaws as far as I know. But the rest of you rappers that I named, all y'all got flaws. I know y'all was trying to be funny and make fun of Kanye, but y'all got some flaws in your own, of your own you need to fix and you need to straighten out. And you got problems, too, that you need to fix and work on before you clown somebody else. You know, make sure your house and your laundry is clean before you try to throw dirt on somebody else's name. And that's all I'm going to say for now. You know, um, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like. The more likes I get, the better, the more popular I will be on YouTube and in the aneur uh, aneurysms or whatever they call that. But um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for liking the video or thanks for watching the video. I love and appreciate you all and you all have a good day late night and enjoy your Friday. Have peace.